Spanish about to lose another lap to Benoit Trelluet, so he'll pull another lap back and probably going down to the hairpin. The two bright white lights of the Audi. Yep, indeed. Much shallower angle at the turn into than the GT cars. So Trellewey, not sure how much further Trellewey can get up, but he's a went to sixth in P1, and in terms of the World Endurance Championship, got a look at what cars ahead of him are in the LMS. I think it's only the, the Dyson. So that's net five, fifth position points. That's not the worst that can happen for them. This is the battle, yes it is. This is the battle of GT, look at that. How Olivia Beretta has closed up in the last couple of laps on Joey Hand. Well, has he timed Hand this? Over fist. Has he timed this absolutely right with just a lap, maybe two to go, Jeremy? Yeah. And he's got, has he got help in front from another Ferrari? That is the Crown Racing car. Joey's got to be very, very careful here. He is the meat in the sandwich, and Barrett is coming, and Barrett is coming very quickly towards the Jean de Bian Benz, and no doubt the leader was held up a little bit there. Barrett goes to the right hand side, coming down to the Mont Ben. He's going to go and try in the inside here. Has he got the back straight? He's gone through. He's gone through with it less than two minutes to go. He's taken the position and retaken the GT lead. A very unorthodox manoeuvre. Saw his opportunity, much as Joey Hunt did earlier on, didn't need a second invitation. Absolutely right, Tracy Crone. They're wondering across the road uh, going into the John Deban curves and that is exactly what Olivia Beretta needed so once again the advantage goes back and forth this time it is here comes, Ferrari here comes the BMW back at him though the white flag is flying as they go underneath Dennis Paul's feet and a joy hand's gonna have to go very very tight to the wall he's having a look and Shirley Beretta will close the door Shirley Beretta will close the door as they go underneath there has he got through he has yes, he he's has. gone back through joy hand has gone back through We've got another three <laughs> miles to go. Beretta was slightly asleep there. I think he thought that was a prototype. Well, you know what's going to happen. Well, he's actually made he's a move the carousel. He dived in, and you can't pass there. But uh, that has taken Joey Hand out of the race. So I thought it was going to happen down at the end of this straightaway. But uh, no, that was a, uh, a... That's the... Was that the 51 car that hit him and not the 71? Really? I'm not sure about that, but to see it again... Not. That would be even worse. My goodness me. That was absolutely... Meantime, Alan McNish, Dindo Capello and Tom Christensen will win the 60th anniversary of the Mobile One 12 Hours of Sebring. Fueled by Fresh from Florida. It's been a long time since these guys have had a victory. And this one has been well and hard fought. And that's what it means to the guys in the two squads. Meantime, the GT battle rages on. And this is the battle for the lead. It looks like the Krohn car is still in front of the pair of them as they come down to the spot where Beretta went through the last time around. Just unbelievable stuff. Heading down towards the last corner. There's going to be some talking about this one. And again, the GT battle goes right to the wire. Super late on the brakes by hand. He's right there. He's coming up the inside. This side by side. That's the 51 he's gone through. It is the 51 again getting in the way. And he's picked up some debris there. So through he goes. And Joy Hand will win it by... Even though he got knocked off the track in the last knockings of that race. That is amazing. The 71's gone through, but in third position, Magnussen took Beretta as well. So Beretta getting caught up in all that action on the last lap. My goodness me. The GT providing great battling again for us here at Sebring. We'll sort out who did what to whom in the darkness when we come back.